for the bow, take some red yarn, make a magic ring, and then chain five. And then we're going to do five um, double treble crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook three times. Go in, pull the yarn, pull through two, pull through two again, pull through two again, and then pull through two again. All right, so let's do, um, this was one, and we're going to do four more. Wrap it around three times. And then just pull through. Okay, so this looks like five. Then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to go back into the magic ring um, and do a slip stitch. And now we're going to repeat the same thing but for the other side. So we're going to chain five, then put five double treble crochets in here. All right, then I'm going to chain five and then do a slip stitch back into here. Then I'm going to pull the yarn through. You can leave it kind of long because we're going to use this end to sew it onto the hat. Um, then you're going to pull the yarn. Um, and with that kind of long piece of thread, just kind of wrap it around the middle a couple times. Like that. And then your bow is done. And to make sure this kind of wrapping doesn't fall apart, you can kind of like tie it to that little tail there. Yeah. So there is your bow. Nose and the eyes are made in the same way, so I'm just going to show you how to do the nose and you'll repeat it for the eyes. So you're going to do a chain of four, and then into that third chain you're going to do a single crochet, second chain do another single crochet, and then that very first one we did, you're going to put in three triple, sorry, three single crochets, um, but you're going to kind of make it so you're going back around to the other side. So I'm just going to put like two in here, then I'll swing to the other side and into that same, um, um, in that same chain but on the other loop, put another single crochet. And then another single crochet in the next one. And then two single crochets in the last one. And you should have this little oval shape. And to end it, you're going to go into that first single crochet with a slip stitch and leave the tail kind of long. And again, you're going to repeat this for the eyes, but just in the color black. Okay, we're going to begin with making a chain of 75. Okay, so this is my chain of 75. Now you're just going to make sure your chain is all straight. We're gonna go into the top loop And then you're going to pull through with a slip stitch. Um, 
Now, instead of doing a chain three, I like to do something a little different. You're gonna go into the same stitch that you pulled through from, and you're going to do a single crochet. And that single crochet you did, there's the first loop, and there's the second loop. Go under only the first loop, pull through the first loop, and pull through both. And then for the rest of the 74, this one was the first one, now we have 74 left, you're just going to do double crochets all the way around. And this is just um, how you're going to build up your hat. You're just going to do this for 17 rows. So 17 rows of double crochets. Um, and when you... I'll show how you... Oops. I'll show how we finish the row and where we um, begin to attach from. You're just going to attach into that um, little double crochet we did at the beginning. That little funky double crochet. So you go into that stitch and um, end there. Okay, so I'm reaching the end of my first row, and I wanted to show you how we end it. I'm going to put my last double crochet into this last stitch, and then I'm going to go to the second stitch here. This is one. I'm going to go into two. That's where we did that little funky double crochet. You're going to go to there, do a slip stitch. And do the same thing as we did in the last row, where you go in, do a single crochet, then go into that first loop, pull through, pull through both. And yeah, you're just going to do 17 rows of this. I, I just finished my first one, I'm going on to my second. In total, you will have 17. Okay, so I just finished um, 17 rows. Now I'm going to... And this with a slip stitch and we want to seal the top together so to do that you're just going to go into um, the second single crochet so this one and then you're going to go into the corresponding one on the other side and you're going to do a slip stitch and you're going to go all the way down like that. So with one stitch and then the adjacent one and then pull through with a slip stitch. And this is just going to help to seal the top. Okay, so I sealed the top up and to end, you'll just pull through and cut your yarn. And so now we'll go ahead and work on adding all the little details we made onto the face. If you have an idea of how to sew and you know how to do the whiskers and stuff, um, you can just go ahead and follow this picture. Um, on the left side, I put the row numbers and you can just kind of follow that and put on all the um, features. And if you don't know how to sew, um, you can just keep watching and I will show you what to do. So first we're going to put the bow on um, and we're going to put it on the 14th row. So the last one was 17, so 17, 16, 15, 14. And we're going to put it around... Um, counting from here around stitches seven and eight, uh, but it doesn't quite matter and your bow is going to be put kind of like diagonally So not straight on but at a slight angle um, So I'm going to sew it on with a yarn needle And the way I do this I just go up and down through um, this first layer and the bow so I'm going to go down into this row, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so around here. Um, I'm going to go down there. And make sure you're going through just one um, sheet, I guess, not both sides. And then I went down into it. Now I'm going to come back up through a stitch and then poke it through somewhere in that bow. Just like that. And you're just going to kind of do this all the way around. Again, making sure that your bow is at um, a diagonal. And I'm really just sewing on this middle part over here. I'm not really doing like the sides of my bow. 
because I think it looks better when it looks like a little bit um, like floppy and stuff like that. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it is secure. All right, so I think my bow is on pretty securely. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, we had two tails. I use one tail to sew it in. I'm gonna take the other tail and just kind of bring it under. And then flip it backwards. Then I'm gonna tie those two strings together to make sure it's secure. Um, and then you can go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and just cut it. Nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the eyes. So the eyes are gonna be on rows 11 and 12. They'll take up two rows. So this was 14, 13, 12, and 11. So they're gonna kinda go over here. And they're both going to be around eight stitches away from the side. And then again, um, they're gonna be facing like vertically, not horizontal. And you can just go ahead and grab your sewing needle and sew it on. And it's gonna be the same as the bow where like after you sew it all around, you're gonna bring the other string back and just tie them together. Um, so the way I'm going to sew these on, let me just count one, two, three, four, seven, eight. So I'm gonna go over here somewhere. So I'm gonna first stick my hook into the bottom of the 11th row. Around stitch nine, I think. And then I'll just go back up, take a stitch, and I think I'm going to do a back stitch. Um, so I'm going to come up through a stitch, and then I'm going to go backwards a stitch, and I'm going to kind of repeat that. So now I'm going up into this third stitch, and then I'll go back down into the second stitch. Then I'll go up into the fourth stitch. And then down into the third stitch. So a back stitch will make it um, a little more secure. And then just make sure that when you kind of get to the top, you're at the top of the 12th row. That's kind of where I am. It's gonna go into this stitch and go back into the fourth. So yeah, you're just gonna kind of do these for both the eyes. Um, and then the nose is going to be on row 10. So like right there, um, just kind of between the two eyes. I would say um, like five rows, five stitches um, between the eyes. So now, um, after you're done sewing all the eyes and nose on, I'll show you how to do the whiskers. So now we're gonna do the whiskers. Um, so grab some black yarn. And I'm gonna start with the middle one. So the middle one will be um, right at the bottom of the eye along this line. And we're gonna start at the third space from the eye. So at this space, all right, one, two, three. So grab some yarn um, and just make a little loop like that. Take your hook off the loop, stick your hook in there, and then grab the loop from under, pull it through to the top, and we're going to do five um, little like chains, I guess, but into this. Um, hat. So you're going to go down into the next stitch, grabbing the yarn from down there, and then pulling it through that loop. That was one. This is two, three, four, five. 
All right, and then I'm going to, from that same stitch and that fifth stitch, I'm gonna pull the yarn through and then cut it. So that's the middle whisker. Um, and then you can go ahead and pull that yarn under and like, you know, weave it in and stuff. That's one whisker. Um, the other two are gonna be similar, just, you know, one goes down, one goes up. You're gonna start the same with that boop. Um, and this time you're gonna put your hook just into one spot above this whisker. And then for the bottom one, you'll go one below. So I'm gonna go one above into here. Grab that loop. And you're gonna make a kind of diagonal just along in this like line, I guess. Um, you're, you'll go kind of like above. So this is the 12th row, you'll go around like 13 and a half-ish. Um, and again, you're gonna do around five stitches, um, just trying to make it go up into a diagonal. Um, so it doesn't quite matter where you put the stitches as long as you know you're going up. That was three. I'll do four and then five. So there's my other whisker. Um, and you can kind of adjust it to make it like higher or lower if you want, but I think that looks fine. And again, I'm gonna go into that stitch pull the yarn through and cut it. So yeah, um, you'll go ahead and do the same thing for the lower whisker and then on the other side and then you'll kind of be done. Okay, so I finished all the whiskers and stuff um, and now what you can do is like these little ends, you can grab a smaller hook, pull them back and kind of like weave them in. So here's a strand I just pulled back and I'm just kind of um, weave it into here. So that way it's not like sticking out or anything. Um, and yeah, so you're basically done. When you wear it, you fold the bottom up around three or four rows and it should fit pretty snug. Um, it should be like a really nice like hat for like cold weather and stuff. It'll keep your head super warm. Um, and yeah, you're done.